What's up, guys? I just want to do a quick following up to my first Helsing Ultimate uh, episode review. Because I, didn't, I did miss one important thing, so I guess we just call this episode review 1.5, because I'm still talking about episode 1. Not, but but uh, I just wanted to, first of all, I give credit to voice actors, because that's one big thing I definitely should not forget. Uh, and the important thing to recognize is that this series, although it is a completely, not completely different, but it is, you know, a different thing than the anime series, the important thing is that they retain a lot of the same characters and they retain all of these same voice actors for each character. So it's fantastic in the sense, in fact, it's one of the few enemies out there where I vastly enjoy the English dubbing over the Japanese. Although, to be fair, that whole Japanese thing is pretty much one for Godzilla movies for me. I mean, live action movies, I almost always prefer the original language of the movie. As far as anime go, to be honest, I think I almost always prefer it in English. You know, when I think about the ones I have watched, like Death Note, Fairy Tale, Dragon Ball Z, all those I've watched in English, I prefer them in English. Although I have watched them in Japanese as well, but uh, I don't know, I think in anime I usually do enjoy watching in English instead. But with that said, uh, just to credit to them, uh, Katie Gray as Serge Victoria. Fantastic, sounds innocent, sweet. You definitely got that down. Uh, Victoria Harwood as Sir Integra, fantastic job. Definitely, you could definitely tell it's a, you know a woman, feminine voice. However, she has a lot of power to it. it. Definitely sounds like a leader you could follow, and definitely a very strict commander, which fits the personality very well. Uh, Crispin Freeman as Alucard. Let's be honest, that voice is sexy as all hell. It is one of the greatest anime voices of all time, and just hearing that laugh is both chilling and badass. If they ever make a live-action Alucard, you know, representation or a Helsing movie in the future, Lord forbid. But you know, who knows? I wouldn't doubt it. Sometime in the future, maybe. Um, they we, we would really need to nail the voice of Alucard and, and actually can match that kind of power because Christopher Freeman just blows you away with his voice acting. In the quote, we have Ralph Lister as Walter C. Dornez. He is fantastic at what he does. Uh, Walter, in his own right, is a fucking badass, as we'll see later on. But I don't believe he had too many lines in the first episode, though. And then, of course, of major characters, anyway, of course, we have uh, Stephen Brand as Alexander Anderson. Uh, it's interesting because in, it's, you can't really make accents in the Japanese version, so everyone just, of course, speaks Japanese, but they are from different nationalities, so to watch English dub, this one is especially fascinating because you hear everyone's different accent. You know, we have British... You know, if Alucard doesn't really speak in much of an accent at all. And then, of course, we have Alexander Anderson, who I believe speaks, uh, forgive me if I'm wrong for this, uh, I believe an, it's an Irish, I believe, an Irish accent. Uh, it's fascinating to see that, and then as the series progresses, of course, we'll see even more accents, and it makes the voice acting very fun. And it's still, don't get me wrong, it's not like it's cheese or anything, it, the voice acting is still very well done, but it is interesting to see all the different uh, accents come about, and it's fun and different, definitely. And yeah, like I said, the voice actors for this, definitely give them a round of applause because they're fantastic. It's one of the best voice acting anime you'll ever see. And then another interesting point I wanted to bring up, uh, if you notice, it's hinted at in this series, but uh, it'll be brung out to the full by the end. Uh, another way Alucard and Anderson are foils, because if you noticed, they briefly mention it, <clears throat> and briefly throughout the remainder of the series, Anderson's uh, origins will be only vaguely hinted at the only thing we really know is that he's a re he's a modified human he's a regenerator which makes him quite a threat and hell of an opponent to be up against and he falls against Alucard who <clears throat> is still you know he still had his own origin he's a vampire of course but from there he became the servant of the Helsing organization and in that sense they're very similar they both are servants of an organization that is militaristic at times and they're meant to up up you know basically up keep the peace, I mean, upheld the peace, although that doesn't always go as planned. But with that said, I just want to point out, they have, yeah, they're very small origin stories, and of course they also have the same fighting prowess, although that will <clears throat> truly come to test later on in the future episodes, just how strong and how much they can take, and uh, ultimately their fates and fates are going to intertwine. But uh, yeah, I think I covered absolutely everything I need to be covered for episode one. But I just really did not want to uh, forsake the voice actors because that just would be an insult. And I also 
just wanted to make sure people see a connection between Helsing and Iscariot, namely between Alucard and Anderson. But namely voice actors, I just could not forget them. Just no way. And also just the fact that I didn't want to just shove this into the middle of episode one after I'd already forgot it. You know, shame on me. <clears throat> that will be a little more prepared next time. I'm kind of doing this off a whim, actually, when I think of it. <laughs> but I actually wanted to talk about the show itself. Uh, so forgive me for this 1.5 video. Next time, everything, absolutely everything about episode two will be covered in my episode two dissection. Uh, thanks for listening, guys.